Hey my loves, welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. We officially have nine more days until Christmas. I'm super excited. 16 days, we've been doing vlogs straight. Who would have ever known that I could do something like this? Because any other time that I tried to stay committed, I act like I couldn't do one video a week or two videos a week let alone seven days a week that i've been vlogging and editing and uploading and doing thumbnails and doing reels all of that <laughs> to promote the youtube y'all i'm so proud of myself y'all should be proud of me too like oh my god we're getting somewhere we're making progress definitely definitely progress period so before we get into this video make sure y'all like this video up give me a two big thumbs up if we could i wish y'all could um subscribe to my channel and um run the views up because i'm missing my viewers i got about 920 maybe subscribers and the views is not matching up to that so i'm gonna need y'all to come on up and help your sister out with getting these views up i would really appreciate it share it with your friends you share it on your facebook and just share it with whoever you know that might fuck my content you know what i mean i'm about to finally take this hair out y'all like i've been was supposed to do this like a long time ago and the way but the way my um i put the braids in here i didn't like separate each individual hair of mine so i should just be able to you know pull it out carefully right i don't know i hope this doesn't take me all day y'all i'm gonna cry uh, i'm gonna cry because i cannot i'm just about to go ahead and start here's one <laughs> take this airpod out cuz I don't want they need to be charged up they've been in my ear all day um I hope your day is going well mine is going pretty pretty good see I see I'm gonna have a hard time trying to take these out actually <laughs> fudge Fudge brownies. Hopefully, it won't be that bad though. It was still a pool. Look at my hair. See, it was ready for these things. Hell. So curly. Baby come back in a few days. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done before he gets back. I still have not bought his Christmas presents yet. There is no Christmas presents under the tree. And I'm just slacking with that part. But hopefully I can get his gifts in soon. I'm uploading another video. Well, editing another video is downloading but yeah i need to go ahead and um get your boy stuff because he's gonna be like mommy um where are my gifts and i need to do that before he comes back home because ain't no way i'm gonna be able to get them while he's still here and try to wrap them up and stuff doesn't make any sense so yeah hopefully i can do that I miss my duda. Sometimes I'll be happy when he get ready to leave to go to his days, and then sometimes I be missing my stinky butt. He be getting on my nerves a lot, but I be missing his bad ass. Well, I'm not gonna even say he bad, cause he not bad. He just growing up, like he's getting older, knowing different things, doing different things. He's just a boy, to be honest. 
and I'm loving every journey of being his mother and I'm glad that I was blessed with twins because at least I twin boys at that part that part not twin I mean I'm blessed to be having twins but it's the boy part that I'm blessed to be. I have got to get me a camera or SD card ASAP, no Rocky, because I gotta record a video, um, upload it to my iPad, then delete it off my phone in order to record another video. And I'm tired of having to do that every time. Like, what? Excuse me? Um, I just want to do my whole vlog without having to start and stop and start and stop all right got <laughs> got the front row don't even have the whole front row down jesus well one of my videos have saved to my one of my videos have saved to my um my ipad one that I was saving. Any more front ones? Yes. Wait, no, that's not one. Let me know what y'all doing today. Like, what is y'all's day in a life? How do y'all be taking y'all hair down? <laughs> What kind of hair products do y'all use? Because y'all, you know what? I realized that I forgot to buy me myself um, some shampoo and conditioner. When I had went and bought Shamari some, I do have some shampoo still. But the conditioner part is what I don't have. So I'm probably going to end up using Shamari shampoo until um, I get my own. But as of right now, I do not have any shampoo. So, I need y'all to let me know what type of shampoo that y'all use for your heads. It's not taking as long as I thought it was going to take. And this is really, I don't know if this is dirty. Oh, yeah, that's dirty. Or probably just that damn hair deal, but it's still, I guess it would still be dirty. I see how curly my hair is. It's short, y'all. I used to, um, I, um, had my hair was short for like two, three, four years. I'm just now growing my hair back out. I was a part of the wave gang for a long time. I miss my waves and I often think about cutting my hair again. No cap. But I'm, instead of doing that first, I'm going to try locks. I'm going to try the lock journey and see how that is. I hear it's amazing. So I'm going to be starting my lock journey very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. But um, before I just recently started growing my hair back out, I was I was a wave head. I was a wave girl. I was getting my hair cut probably every two weeks, and I was dyeing my hair um, probably like once a month or once every two months or something like that. When my friends and they would see me, they wouldn't see me that often, but they would be like, "Girl, every time I see you, you got a new hair color." That was me. That I was that girl. That was always changing her waves but i loved it and i miss it so much my sister always be like if you cut your hair i'm never talking to you again like i'm never speaking to you because it makes me sick that you go to the barber shop every um every time and just sit in that chair and let them cut your hair that was i was loving it. i didn't have to do my hair all the time like yeah easy and I'm about to uh I'm about to try this lock journey. I know that I can retwist my own hair, but um 
I don't know. It's still going to be a process. I still going to have to, I'm still going to have to keep my hair up. So whether or not I get locks just so I don't have to figure out a hairstyle all the time, I'm still, um, I'm still doing my hair. I'm still going to have to get it twisted. Still going to want styles like putting braids over it or something like that. I don't know. We're going to see how. I don't know. We're just going to see. We're just going to see. I don't I don't know. I can't even say much on that part. But, y'all, it's not taking me as long as I thought. Still got a good bit left. Hold on. Still got a good bit left back there. But... Um, it's coming along. I have some, um, sauteed some rice, well, I sauteed some red bell peppers and green bell peppers and some onion and put it with some rice. I told y'all I don't be, like, eating like that these days. Like, okay, so, on total today, what I had, I had a grilled cheese sandwich earlier. I don't eat breakfast. I totally skip breakfast. Breakfast comes around noon. Or like, yeah, noon, 12, 1, 2. I would um make a grilled cheese sandwich. I think before that I had a, a protein shake. Like, I've been drinking my boost. Been, I've been drinking them boosts just to make sure that I'm, I at least get around protein and stuff in every day. So, I do that. I drank my juice, my boost today. I had a grilled cheese sandwich. I had some yogurt. Um, what else did I eat today? I don't think I ate anything else today. I ran out of cookies, y'all, so I need to go get some more cookies. I really need to go shopping, period, before my baby come back because I really don't have no food here until he comes back. Well, I mean, not until it come back, but until I go shopping, I don't have no food here. But rice and, and stuff like that. I wish I had more friends that were that cook and that would just be like, I'm coming, pull up, bring you some food. You don't got to get out the bed. Um, I'm going to let you know when, I'm, when I pull up and just bring me food. Like, where are those type of friends at? See, I got to... I gotta up my game in 2024. I need, I need some new friends. Mhm. Mm I need some new friends and family members. <laughs> because y'all don't be cooking. Oh wait. Y'all don't really care about me like that for real. It's so fucked up. Sound like Jamari. I mean, you're really, you're really gonna do that. You're really gonna be mad at me like that, y'all. Yeah. Because why my friends don't be bringing me no food and they be cooking. Well, I know they be cooking. I be too lazy to cook. I know how to cook. But what pregnant girl wants to be in the kitchen every day trying to cook? Sure in the hell not me. That's what you're supposed to have friends and family for. For them to come and bring you food. And why are you pregnant? Because I would do that for you. Man. The type of love I would have for my friends if they were pregnant, I don't even get that same type of love. Even for my own family. But it's all good, though. It's all good. It's all good. Keep that same energy. Y'all, I'm almost done. <laughs> Thank God. It's not taking as long as I thought it was going to take. Hallelujah. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just so excited about the new year. I definitely want to start traveling more. Traveling more is definitely going to be on my to-do list next year. 
um just having an easy having an easy lifestyle is my main goal for next year like i want to be able to focus on my babies my newborns not stress about work um like every day really just want to live in every moment of every day that's really all i want to do for 2024 travel live in a moment and make money take care of my baby take care of my boys and yeah because i plan to travel with my boys like i i like road trips so i have no problem with getting in a car packing up getting a car and leaving my only thing is that I need a bigger car because the three of us can't travel in my little car. I need a little truck. Thinking about getting a little Jeep or a Range Rover. I'm not fully decided on that, but I will decide on that once I get my finances straight and once I get my credit to where I need it to be. Trust me. All of that is in the making. 2024, we're going to be where we need to be. I'm already working on my credit score. It's looking pretty lovely right now. And it's going to be looking more lovely in about six months. I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to give myself, I'm going to give myself six months to be fully where I want to be. Because three months, and, and about three months is when my babies just do. My babies are due March 11th, and um, I, I mean, I think they're going to come in February sometime, but they're due March 11th, and that's about three months away. So, I need those three months, and then I need three more months to kind of get used to the lifestyle of having twins and working with twins, doing content with the twins, you know, just readjusting my lifestyle to fit the twins lifestyle as well so i that's why i say give me six months and six months your girl it's gonna be yeah yeah my hair looks so healthy though like oh i'm watching home alone <laughs> for like the 50th time this year no like no cap during holiday season home alone is my favorite it's been my favorite since i was a little kid and this is how home alone too and he's uh lost in new york but um yeah i'm almost done i thought this was going to take longer than what it's taking y'all y'all know i've been uh hesitating to, to do my hair for a long time and finally getting around to it got about one two three four five six seven about seven left i'm glad i did my hair like this y'all because i can literally excuse me mm. I can literally just pull the uh pull my hair from in the twist because of the way I did it. I didn't I didn't separate my own hair into three strands and then twist it, or I didn't separate it into two and then twist it up. I just left it all together and just braided it with the thingy. So it kind of makes it easier for me to just pull out the twist y'all do my own hair if i can help it i do my own hair i'm not doing my own locks that part i'm not doing but and like if i want some professional looking scalp braids i don't do that but when it comes to some box braids or some twists or something that i can easily do if i'm doing it myself ooh hair done hair taken out got my hair taken out Ooh, it looks so good and healthy y'all it's so nice and black y'all i don't never when i say never never have my hair um 
in its natural state. Like my hair is always colored. This is the longest my hair has not been colored, to be honest. It looks really good though. I'm about to comb it out, wash it, and it's gonna look even better. It's so curly, I like it. It's getting long, y'all. Let me see if I can find a picture for y'all and uh, show y'all how I used to rock my hair though. When I was short hair game on my bald head ho sheet. <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> I wasn't on a ball head whole shit like that. But kind of was. But I was cutting my hair by choice. Like it was a lifestyle, it was a life change that I was going through. And when I first cut it, I was like, I'm gonna just cut it off and let it grow back. But then I liked it when it was cut and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna keep it short. I kept it short for like most of my baby's life. And now I'm about to have dreads, locks. So, I'm super excited. We about to wash this hair. Well, about to comb it out first. And then wash it. Your girl got an early morning. I start training tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. So, that is earlier than what I was doing before. Y'all know that? Before I was getting up at 6.45 to start work for 7 o'clock. This time, I actually start work at 6.30. So I got to get up at like 6.15 or something. Bullshit. <laughs> if you ask me, it's pure bullshit. But it is what it is, I guess. I'm about to comb this hair so I can get this night over with, go to sleep, relax, for work, early work, early, an early morning's rise. <laughs> but I think the worst part about taking my hair down is combing it. Watch how much dirty stuff. Damn, look at all that. My hair has grown like a lot. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. This be the part that I be dreading doing every time I take my hair down is combing this shit out, bro. Like, I need to separate each thing individually. Do something because, uh... This is not, um... <clears throat> hair is not even thick like that but I guess from having my hair in that style for so long and having that gel and stuff locked up on there they're all pretty um, stuck together but I'm um, going to start it in sections hopefully that makes it a little bit better. Yeah, my hair has grown significantly in the last few months. Ouch. Ouch. See, uh, the toughest part yeah is the front because I did have a wig in my head and I took the wig right out didn't even much barely um 
wash it or nothing like that right when I took it out and put them braids in there because I was pushing for time like I was trying to I was trying to hurry up take that wig out install them twists in my head for Thanksgiving or something and um, now this is going to be my actual first wash and probably a month and a half or so much much needed probably would have never known that my hair looked like this now y'all see the real authentic shape oh taking a selfie <laughs> very healthy and everything got so much can y'all see that dirt I'm about to take this shit off anyways shouldn't have this in my pocket mm. and um I guess we'll get ready for our little Oh, you're itching and stuff. So, uh, yeah, guess we're about to get ready. See, once I take my hair and stuff out, I cannot help but to touch and play and just be in my hair. Like, I love my hair. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to figure out what to do with it as soon in a couple of days. Telling y'all, I need something to do with my hair. But, y'all, my titties been itching, I guess, because they've been getting bigger from being pregnant. My stomach been itching. I've been looking for some stuff to, um, so I won't have, get stretch marks and stuff like that. Y'all send me some stuff. Let me know what's good to get to prevent stretch marks. I'm loving my tattoo. I didn't like it when I first got it, but y'all. Um, yeah, we're about to get in the shower and wash this hair. Wash my body. Get out and go to bed. Y'all no lie, this water felt so good running through my hair down my back. Oh my god. Felt so heavenly divine. <laughs> I love me a good shower routine. Look at my little shampoo that I'm using by Carol's daughter. The only the best shampoo in the world. It lathers up so good. Makes your hair feel really, 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 really 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 washed and clean by the time you get done with it and then you don't need like more than one wash it lathers up so good as y'all can see my arms got tired <laughs> but boy that water that hot water running on your scalp boy that feels so good i know y'all know what i mean now I'm about to use Shamari's uh, conditioner <laughs> to condition my hair. And yes, and it does the same thing that it did to Shamari's hair. Bring up them curls, baby. Yeah, water in my, I mean, yeah, water in my eyes and stuff. Yeah, I love me a good wash day uh, for real. 
Look at them curls popping in. Them natural curls. Oh, yes, girl. Yes. Slay. I don't know why I'm wiping my eyes with my hands when it's got water and stuff on it already. But, hey. Look at them curls. Looking like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Now I'm about to let the conditioner just sit in my hair for like 10, 5 to 10 minutes while I soap up my body, get my body right. Now it's probably lathered like two times. I use that Dove soap there. And then I'm going to go back with the soap that I bought for Mari. And, you know, do the rest. Look at my big old belly. Yeah, lather that up. I wash about two times. I do the bar soap first, my soap, and then I go in with the other um, liquid soap. And do that. Wash my body off a second time. Lather it up really, really good. Gotta be squeaky clean, you know. Can't be going out here sad like these hoes. I'm just playing. <laughs> But nah, yeah, I'll be really in the shower for like 20 minutes, for real, for real. This video was about 15, 50 minutes. When I edited it all the way down, it got down to like 35 minutes. But baby, the water started getting cold and it was time for me to get out. I'm all finished, guys. It's cold out there. Ooh, the water started getting cold, so that was my t my cue to uh get her out of the shower. That was a nice little session, though. If you do ask me, this is my very first night routine. Um, very first shower routine. I never showered in the shower on a video like that before. See so you. Um, <clears throat> pretty interesting on that part hope you guys enjoyed my little my little small little shower routine i'm trying to make sure i'm dry because it's cold out there and i'll just keep getting water everything i made Y'all, literally everything is soaking wet. The floor is wet because I didn't have a shower curtain pulled back. The, my slippers is wet because I took them off for about a tub. And my phone is wet because it was by the water. Ooh, look at that hair. Look at them curls popping. Oh, crrr. it looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm going to spray this uh, leave in conditioner on it or two. Yeah, that's my leave in spray. Let me. Oh, jeez. What y'all see on my TikTok? This is the leave-in conditioner that I use for my hair. Let me just spray it over here. Like so. The bed number there.
actually looks pretty darn good, if you ask me, baby girl. It looks really good, I think, that it looks really good. I've been needing to take my hair out for the longest, and it looks pretty. I might do two braids um, on the sides before I go to sleep. Um, we'll see. So yeah, it's part of my nighttime routine or whatever. I use this to lotion up my body and y'all ain't gonna be able to see me do all of that case. I got too much. Y'all, this stuff make your skin feel so good. No cap, no cap. Like, really, 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 really good. I love this stuff. Cocoa butter. It's the best. I gotta make sure I go through this video and edit some shit out. Because I keep seeing slips and stuff. Can't be doing all of that for the YouTube. But yeah, guys, this was my nighttime routine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know what um I can use for these stretch marks other than this cocoa butter that I'm using. Let me know what other products y'all recommend I use. And um, don't forget to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we're on the road to 1K. I'll see you guys tomorrow or you guys listen to me tomorrow. Peace.